Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Benson, what's yours? Welcome back. First time in a long time, we're gonna do a Walt Disney World haul video. Haul video. Uh, this is the first time we've been back to Disney World since February of the, this year. Just have a lot of stuff going on, but not gonna bog you with that. We're gonna get into this. Uh, Star Wars Galaxy Edge opened this week at Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World, and I was there for opening day. And this is the plethora of things that we got while we were there. Some of this is mine, some of this is theirs, some of this is other people's, but we're gonna jump right into it. The first thing I'm gonna start off with, this is actually a gift for the baby um, from Kitty from New World Travel Monkeys. They're not able to make it to the baby shower, and so she wanted to pick something up while we were down there and give it to Kristen and us for the baby. So this thing is super cute and it goes right along with our theme because she got, but first, uh, this really cute sleeping Dumbo. This thing is bigger than, holy crap, it's bigger than I thought it was. So it's really soft, it's super soft, super fluffy. Almost works as a pillow, it's called the Dream Friends by Disney Parks. So, cute, look. Sleeping Dumbo. Moving right along. Uh, you know Kristen, she's a villain's lover. Uh, sp sp specifically, um, the, e the Evil Queen and Maleficent. So, anytime there's a poison apple-esque style thing, she likes to make sure she gets it. And so this one is the Goblet. So it's like purple. It's a purple cup, melting wax, slash poison, and it's basically a stein. Uh, it's actually a really big cup now that I think about it. Like, that's gotta be a good 24 ounces, I bet it says it on the bottom. I actually don't care, I'm not gonna read long enough to know that. <laughs> this is a really big cup. I'm sure she'll use it for something on her desk at work, like pens or something, but she got this thing. Uh, and then I picked this up for her uh, as, because as soon as I saw it, I knew she was gonna like it. And it goes right along with this. Uh, it is the Poison Apple. Uh, and it's actually a candle holder. And it says, just one bite on the back. You basically put a little candle in here and it glows through. Uh, I think she said she's gonna get like a little um, LED candle to put in there so that she doesn't have to worry about it being a flame or anything like that. But the lid does come off if you wanna put an actual candle in there though. How we were in Epcot, we did hit up England and Japan and some of our place, favorite places to shop. So in England, we hit up the tea shop uh, because we love tea. And so we picked up cold brew, uh, Twinnings cold brew, and it's iced tea mixed berry. And then Kristen also picked up, because uh, mixed berry is mine, Kristen picked up Twinnings cold brew iced tea uh, mint. And then this is cold infused flavored cold water enhancer, blueberry, apple, and black currant. Twinnings makes it. It looks like a tea bag that you put in your ice water. And basically what it does is it just infuses your water with a flavor. So we're, we've, never ha we've never had these before, so we're gonna try these out and see if these are any good. Uh, but you basically, it looks like you just drop it in a bottle of water, so. Uh, in the same place that we picked up Kristen's um, Stein here, we also got the Lion King uh, popcorn bucket. You know she likes to collect those buckets. She loves she loves popcorn buckets. Uh, I think that's all the normal, non Star Wars related stuff. Uh, so now we're gonna basically fall into the Star Wars stuff. Uh, so basically the first thing you got on Star Wars opening day was a really cool version of the Hollywood Studios map. So it's this guy right here. And you see it's got a good little little holographic look to it. Uh, and it actually has a different feel to it. Like the Millennium Falcon feels, you can feel the Falcon versus like this is that glossy feel. This has like a texture to it. I picked up a few of those for some friends. And then also this guy right here. Oh, sorry, upside down. This guy right here. Uh, and this is just a map of Star Wars Land. And it kind of tells you where everything is in Star Wars Land. It's the map of Galaxy's Edge. Um, and so it shows you with a little key where everything's located. And it gives you the information here on the back as well. 
it's uh, it just tells you what all you can find there. And then there's and there's little it even decodes so right there. It even decodes the language and puts it in, you know, English. The letters anyway, so. Because some of the signs stuff over the doors are written in this language, so that's pretty cool. I actually didn't even open this until just now. Um, so it's pretty neat, pretty cool. I picked up these a couple of these for some friends as well. One of them is mine. But, uh, and then when you're in Star Wars Land, if you're gonna spend any kind of money over $100 while you're in Galaxy's Edge, make sure you find one of the shops that is selling the Batu gift card. Um, a lot of the cast members hadn't seen this, so this outside of Batu, so it made this kind of even more special. But it's this guy right here. So it's a minimum of $100 to get this, and it puts $100 on this gift card, and then you can recharge this at any place in Walt Disney World and use it at any place in Walt Disney World. I use this through uh, Walking Around World Showcase, and the coolest part of that is that the most of the CMs had it been made aware of this. I don't know if that was intentional or not. So they're like, oh, what's this? I'm like, that's a gift card from Batu. And they were like, oh, that's so cool. We really like that. So a lot of people really liked looking at this. Even while we were in um, All-Star All Sports, I used it to buy dinner a few times. And even some of them, or most of them didn't know about it or hadn't seen it. So, and it's this really nice metal gift card that I think I'm going to have like a frame made out of it and put it on a chain to hang it. Uh, I kind of wish it had already a chain on I thought about drilling a hole in the top, but I don't want to mess it up at all. So I think I'm going to have it put in a, like a in like a casing. So that way I can keep it with me anytime we go back to uh, Walt Disney World. I can use this versus the flimsy plastic ones they have. Plus this is like a cool little, it's a little coin, you know. And it's got the, the black spire symbol in the front. So I like it. Very cool. And then, you know, couldn't go to Galaxy's Edge without getting some thermal detonators. I mean, sodas. Uh, so I did pick up uh, one of each of these. So I got a Sprite thermal detonator. Um, and of course, Sprite's written right there in the language. And then you got the little top. And we got Diet Coke. We got Coke. And then <laughs> the one I actually drank was Dasani. Uh, no cool top, but the Dasani water bubble was written in the right language and stuff. So I'm going to actually turn these into Christmas bubbles for the tree and stuff, just because I think they're kind of cool. Um, now, this guy we didn't get in Galaxy's Edge. This guy you can only get outside of the Galaxy's Edge, uh, but it is a shoulder porg. So you've got this little magnet that goes in your shirt, and your porg sits on your shoulder, and you can walk around with him. Um, Allie didn't care for this part because she it kept sliding and falling, so she ended up just sticking this guy in her pocket the entire time, so he was a pocket porg. Um, you'll have to watch, actually I don't think I put it in a video, but we did Mount Everest in uh, Animal Kingdom and this little guy got to fly, so it was pretty cool. Had him picked up the uh, pass holder uh, commemorative uh, pin for Galaxy's Edge opening. So it's just a Millennium Falcon flying over top of uh, Black Spire. And just because, you know, I'm a Star Wars sap, period, I did pick up some chance cubes. Uh, I got these because I was actually looking for the card game for Savak, uh, which is the card game that um, Han Solo wins the Millennium Falcon from Lando Clarissian uh, through. And they, at, when they, oh, no, on opening day, they didn't have them in stock went back today they did get them in stock but they sold out as fast as they were hitting the shelves so if you're in Walt Disney World and you see that game please reach out to me so I can send you money so that you can buy me that game and send it to me uh, from the droid depot Kristen found this really cute hair bow and so she picked that up and it's basically just R2D2 on like a gray hair bow here really cute um, she saw this she's been picking up a lot of hair bows for the baby and you said you got two of these? Yeah. Uh, so she picked up two. Uh, I don't know, one for her and one for, and one for the baby or one for Allie and one for the baby. So they have matching bows and it's cute. And what I also picked up was, um, this is for Jordan. Uh, one of these from Jordan, one's for me. I picked Jordan up the Jedi Holocron. And basically what these are is they, um, they have like Jedi knowledge and stuff in them. And what you do is you can turn this guy here see this turn and then when you turn this guy here it lights up
Now this guy's original color is blue, uh, kind of like the color of the Jedi and stuff, but what it is is they have little compartments on them that when you pop them open, you get, you can store a kyber crystal, and depending on the color of the kyber crystal that you store in there, depends on the color of what the holocron actually turns. So without the crystal, if you crank this guy this way, and this guy this way, see it just stays that blue color. It's like a dark blue. I don't know how well it's picking up the light, but um, yeah, so it stays like a dark blue color without the crystal. Any crystal you put in, you put a red crystal, it turns red. You put a green crystal, it turns green. Uh, so I, he got the Jedi one, and he ended up getting a red crystal and a purple crystal. And then I have the Sith holochrome, and I got a blue crystal with mine. And so the Sith holochrome is a triangle, or not a triangle, it's a pyramid, and you just turn this guy up here. And you can see it turns blue. Without the crystal in it, it turns red. Uh, it lights up red. And if you put turn this guy on and turn the other guy on, and you put them next to each other, they fight. Like you see, you can hear the powers kind of clash back and forth. It almost sounds like they're fighting. So pretty neat. And then this guy's holocron box uh, is right here. I will tell you, they're not the easiest to get out. Uh, so you, you kind of have to be careful, but there's the blue one right there. And then, not the blue, crank it. See, it went red. Holocrons do come with leather carry cases for them, and the kyber crystals come with little cases for them as well. So your kyber crystal, depending on the color, comes in something like this, so you can store your kyber crystal in there. And then the holocron comes in a really nice leather pouch and there's a recharging cable in there because the holocrons have rechargeable batteries in them. So, um, now the next thing I'm going to show you, the next two things I'm going to show you are the, actually no. Uh, so then I also picked up this guy, which is a belt clip that will hold a lightsaber and, um, so it just sits on there and then your lightsaber will sit right there so that it holds it and hangs on your belt. Uh, it actually came in this cool box, which I'm actually using as a storage box. That's so like a bonus gift that I didn't even realize I would have. So one of the other things that I did pick up is this guy right here. Uh, this is a Dejeric uh, board game, it, and it comes with checkers. So this there's a wooden board, and that flips over and plays checkers. If you notice, this is the game that uh, they you see them playing on the Millennium Falcon. Uh, when Han says, let the Wookiee win, because I played a couple of rounds of this game. It's a little difficult, but it's kind of like chess in the sense that you have to remember how your pieces move, otherwise you're gonna get your butt kicked. Okay, so this guy right here I got, and his name is R3JAG. Uh, R3JAG, or Jordan Alley Gabriel, Jordan Aliana Gabrielia. Um, and originally he was a black and blue with a clear head, uh, I wanted purple, but they said there weren't any in there, but Kristen was able to find me the purple panels. I may actually take his foot off and paint it purple as well. So this is R3JAG. And he is remote control. This is his remote control. And so his blasters, they'll fire. He talks. And turn. Now, the last thing on the haul video, you know I had to do it, and we'll, like I said, we'll go over these in a lot more detail. I'll do a video specifically with the droid and with this guy right here, where I talk about the entire process and whether or not I think it's worth it. So, I did build my own lightsaber, and so I will show you the... There's a bone hilt there. There's my button. All right, go ahead in the comments below, tell me what color you think my lightsaber is. There's a good chance you've seen it if I shared, but what color do you think I picked to go with this hilt that really defines me as a person? What color do you think my lightsaber blade is going to activate as? Five, four, three, two, one. I was just kidding, guys. So I don't know if you can see, or if the camera picks it up properly. Let me see if I can fix this for you. There we go.
purple. Uh, purple's my blade color, and like I said, this has a lot more tricks up its sleeve, so make sure you keep an eye out for the lightsaber building video and my thoughts on it, and we'll do a full breakdown of the handle and stuff. But just to give you a little sneak peek of how this works, remember I told you about the lightsaber belt buckle, so you can hang the lightsaber on your belt, and that's because... The blade comes out in case you just want to carry just the hilt. Um, it won't do anything like if you're trying to turn it on without the blade. It fizzles and sparks out because there's no blade for it to activate. So, um, but that's pretty cool. And then it just goes right back in. And like I said, full video of this coming. I'll break down the handle, show you the whole thing, and some of the cool little tricks that come along with this. Uh, this guy did come with the carrying case. Um, to kind of help protect it and stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all we really picked up. I mean, I know I say that's all. We actually got a lot. This is a big trip for us. We've saved up for this trip for a very long time. Um, and we had paid off a bunch of stuff to make sure this was a really cool experience. I'm gonna do my full in detail Fat Men reviews, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, because this meant a lot to me. So uh, I'll do a full video that's just me talking about Galaxy's Edge plus the We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you guys enjoy all of our videos. We love you guys so much. We appreciate you watching. And if you followed along and helped me on Twitter and stuff while I was down there, I appreciate it. We love you guys. And in the words of Batu, Tilda Spire.